How's everybody doing? I'm gonna share this to another group real quick. So how is everybody doing? Say hello and tell me where you're from. And I'm going to move my arm in a second and then you can see what I'm, what question I'm asking. Okay. The computer's having me share. So anyway, tell me if you can see and hear me. I am so excited to be here tonight. Just looking for someone to let me know that they can, that I'm live. That I'm live. And as soon as you do, go ahead and um, say hello and also your favorite candy. What is your favorite candy? Hi, I do. Oh. Thank you so much. This echo thing. What am I going to do with this echo? Okay, I should have gotten a fix. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad you told me because I would not have had a clue. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Hi, JJ. How are y'all? I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, I'm live and you can hear me. Hi, Charlene. How are you? Hi, Marlene. So I thought it'd be fun to just do some doodles tonight. You know, some Halloween doodles. If you have a child around, tell them to come in and get a pen and draw with us. But I hope you're here to draw. All you need is just a pen and a piece of paper. You can use anything. Hi, your favorite candy's Twix. All right, Tanya. Hi, Pat. Hi, Dina. Anything chocolate, she says. Hi, Barbara. Thank you, darling. You're always my saving grace. So as far as candy, Halloween candy, I love. I love candy corn mixed with peanuts. Otherwise, it's too sweet. But if you put the two together, it's a match made in heaven. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's so funny. So more people. Or do y'all not like candy? I just see Twix and chocolate. So I asked my daughter to pick up some Halloween candy because I don't know if we're going to have trick-or-treaters or not. But if we do, I said, don't get chocolate because if she gets chocolate, I'm just going to eat it. <laughs> JJ, in a good or bad way, JJ, I'm thinking you're not talking bad about my candy corn. M&M peanut butter. Oh, Rebecca, I'm with you. I love that too. Hello, Pat. Yeah, those peanut butter M&Ms. Oh, they good. They are so good. Payday. Snickers. Yay! Have y'all thought about like old fashioned, old fashioned or old candy when you're growing up? What kind of candy you might have gotten for Halloween? I always think of those, the rectangle and they were peanut butter and they were crunchy and the package had like little stripes on it. Oh, those were good. And then what about, did y'all ever have like, did y'all have, no, JJ, I thought you didn't like that. No, 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 no. Yeah, peeps are not my favorite favorite but i really love that candy corn whip have you tried it together have you tried it together charleston chews yeah yeah logs yeah like peanut butter logs is that what they're called and then um i mean now you go back and you think about those candies and some of them were like so waxy you just chewed and chewed and chewed forever <laughs> mary jane smarties i did love smarties because it was like it lasted a long time because you had all those little pieces one halloween i remember um Back in the day when you could go to a neighbor's house and be invited in and sit down on the couch and eat a pop, uh, popcorn ball. Um, that was one of my special memories of Halloween because most people didn't invite you in to do that. This was an older neighbor and it was really sweet. But So that was a good memory for Halloween. Um, I remember one year my mom said, we, we said, Mom, what should we be for Halloween? Just me and my friend. And um, she was like, I don't know. Just put a paper bag over your head. And so we were like, Okay, so we drew some eyes, cut it out, and walked around with <laughs> We're a little bit old to be trick-or-treating, but I mean, are you ever really too old, right? Okay, so let's get started on some doodles. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about my lettering tribe when we get started. And if you are in my lettering, what does candy corn and peanuts taste like together? The payday. Yes, the days when you could give out handmade candies. Yes. Mary Jane's from Donna. Donna says that. Awesome. I see a lot of tribe members, so... Put your little light bulb on here if you're a tribe member. And um, and thank you for watching. And if you're not a tribe member and you want to know more, 
My tribe's open now, and I have a link in the description. We'd love to have you. Ooh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Yeah, those are good any time of the year, aren't they? Um, okay, so you like licorice? No. See? No. Like black licorice? No. Tell me you're not talking about black licorice, because now I can see your taste buds are just, something's wrong with them. But I do like hot tamales. I do like that. Snickers. Okay, so what I'm going to do is a lot of people on here already know some of my favorite tools, but I'm just going to show you as I go and kind of tell you what I'm using. This is an erasable pen. So what we're going to start off drawing. Oh, I have a candy quiz for you too. Okay. Better Irving you're in their musketeers. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. Okay. I'm going to do candy quiz. So the first one is, and you answer as we go, there's no wrong way to eat a blank. There's no wrong way to eat a, I'm not going to look what the answer is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it. And if you're in my tribe, you also get this printable free. Um, I don't know if y'all see it there, but I've already put it in there. If you're in the iPad or the regular, I put it in there for y'all. Chocolate, anything. That's right, girl. Y'all are in both of my tribes. No black licorice. Ooh, Mounds Bar. I used to hate coconut, though. Taco. What about a taco? Explain, Debbie. Explain yourself. Okay, so we're going to start with a, a just a regular old-fashioned piece of candy. I'm going to draw a circle, and y'all just draw with me. This is fun. It's just fun to let your mind loose and free. Tootsie Pop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Reese's tube of ice cream. Yeah, tub of ice cream. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm drawing the little wrapper right now, and it's just wigglies. They don't match up. It's There's nothing special about them. And then just to make it look like it's cinched, I'm drawing that. And... There's no wrong way to eat a taco. That's true. <laughs> taco anytime. Okay, and so what we're going to do inside here is we're going to draw a dot just for, um, just to know where our guideline is. And we're going to do a wave, a wave, a wave, a wave. One, two, three, four, five. Just trying to make them even. Okay, I'll just leave it like that. Even though it's not super even, that's okay. No wrong way to eat white chocolate covered popcorn. Okay, we're on the same page there. We got the same thing going there. <laughs> uh, for dinner? What are you getting? Yuck. <laughs> that was my daughter going to get food. Okay, so what I'm going to do tonight is just kind of, I'm going to color some in just to show you some different tools you can use. These are Crafty Croc watercolor brush pens and um anyway i'm just going to use this and i'm probably going to draw with my black marker mostly because uh that way it'll save time for one but for uh, the other thing is um i can use that because this is um because the pen i'm going to use is water proof okay so i'm just coloring in my little stripes here and you could use a marker, use whatever you want. Watercolors, anything. And these are just nice because the watercolors are already inside. And if you were watching Friday night, I showed these as well. Um, how you can write with them too. So I wrote this word I wrote with these. You don't like white chocolate? What? Okay, so did y'all answer the question? I don't I don't know that I saw anybody. Oh, there's no wrong way to eat, and y'all said <laughs> Cheer. Hello. I'm back. I'm back with it now. Um, the answer is there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. I think I remember that the commercials where they would eat it like different ways or something. Okay. Here's the second one. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. So which one is that? Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. I can't even sing it. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Y'all remember that? Anyway, so I'll show you how the erasable pen works in case you decide you want to try something like that. But I'm going to get rid of all these blue lines that I used just by using my heat gun. Almond Joy. 
I'm enjoying. <laughs> sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Is I'm enjoying mounds. Good for y'all. Good for y'all. Okay, you ready for the next one? See, I got rid of all those lines. So now I'm just going to go over it with black marker, but I'm probably just going to go ahead and, and start doodling with the marker. Okay, the next one, so easy. Taste the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. And then just trace them back over this, just gives it more, just cleans it up a little bit. And there you have your piece of candy. Okay, I see some people got it, some people got it. Yes, it's Skittles, Skittles. Okay, ready for the next one? Go ahead and do it, I'll draw another piece of candy since we're doing candy right now. Okay, the next one is I'm not sure that I, I would have, I don't think I would have known this one. So I'll give you all a minute. Makes mouths happy. Okay, here we're going to draw a rectangle. And this doesn't have to do with the answer, by the way. Rectangle, and then we're going to do an angle. Angle. Almost looks like a pencil. And then we're going to do our little wrapper where it's cinched up. On both sides like that and I'm going to draw another line here and another line here and guess what that is somebody talked about it earlier Twizzlers we got someone that did Twizzlers makes mouth happy oh good more than one person y'all got it is it I didn't know that one either. Maybe because you can make it smile or something because it's that long, skinny. I don't know, but I do like those. Okay, number five. I don't know if I would have known this one either. At work, rest, and play, you get three great tastes in a blank. And here's like kind of like a gumdrop. I don't know if y'all ate gumdrops or not. I never really liked them that much. And then these candies... These are the ones that tasted like wax. I mean, to me, if this is, if this is like, I don't know, but it, I think it had a heart or just like a circle in it. Now I still, they still bring back great memories because, because they were, you know, candy that payday, Twizzlers, Milky Way. I'll give a couple more people a chance to answer, but someone has said the answer. Okay, now we're going to draw a sucker. So I used to love, 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 love these suckers. Um, what are these called? I'm trying to think of what they're called. Anyway, yes, Milky Way is the answer. Okay, the next one is Hungry? Why wait? Grab a? Surely everybody knows that one. Surely everybody knows that. Hungry? Wow. Wait, grab a... Oh, I just had... This starts with a C. Does it? Maybe Charms is the name. It's a sucker. I don't know why I can't think of it. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a different sucker where you do a circle here. And then you're going to go around. And when you get to the middle, you're going to make a tube out of it. So you're just going to go back around like that. If you're new here, make sure to say hi so we know who to say hi to. Is that a Tootsie Pop ear drawing? Tootsie Pop. It's a sucker, but is I don't think it is it a Tootsie Pop? I was thinking the Tootsie Pops were the were the ones that had the wrapper that went like this. Is that right? Isn't that a Tootsie Pop? But I forgot what that's called. I could be wrong. Hi, Angie. Welcome. Glad you're here. A blow pop. Thank you. Yes. That's what I should have done is I should have written the names on uh, my sheet that I did. And this one's a Tootsie 
no, we got Tootsie Pop. Tootsie Pop. That's the one. How many licks? I don't know. That might be on here. Let's see. Okay, the next one is okay. So we got. Did we get that one? Hungry? Why wait? Grab a. I think I'm. Yeah, the gums in the middle of that. Okay, I think I probably missed y'all's answers and it won't let me go back. But uh, hungry? Why wait? Grab a Snickers. Okay, this one easy. Melts in your mouth, not in your hands. Melts in your mouth, not in your hands. Okay, let's do a candy apple. Candied apple. Yes, blow pop. That's it. And it's got that gum in the middle. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> So good. Okay, candy apple. So we'll, we'll draw like a when you when you think of an apple. Uh, let's see, the shape is kind of like this, like that. Um, and then we're gonna draw um, a stick coming out of it, and then the caramel ran down it. But it didn't get quite the whole apple, quite the whole apple. There's a little bit of red or green left. And then it went down and kind of melted down here. That's that's what you call a good caramel apple, right? M&M's. That's right. That's right. Melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Oh, this is number A. We already talked about this one. How many licks does it take to get the center of a blank? And if you know the answer, tell us the answer too. So anyway, here's our little... Uh, Caramel apple. Do y'all like caramel apples? I hardly ever had one. Like my mom didn't make them or anything. So they will break your teeth, won't they? Use a different marker to color it in because it's going to take less time. That looks pretty on there. It's a good color for caramel. Tootsie Pop, one, two, three, crunch. Absolutely, I know. You can't hang on to it long. Okay, number nine. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that. And if you want to draw like nuts on here, you could draw some nuts. I don't know how y'all like your caramel apples, but I think nuts would be good on it. Okay, we're going to do some lettering in just a second. Just wanted to draw some candies with you. Oh, here's one. I loved, I actually love this too. Well, it's kind of like that one. I'm going to make a rectangle. Yep. Kit Kat bar. And you'll know what this is too. When I color these, you'll know exactly what they are. Oops, that one I didn't make thin. I mean, I didn't make thick enough, but that's okay. Okay, so I'll start coloring them and then y'all can say. Yep, y'all got the Kit Kat bar. But you know what that is already. And then we have this one. Oops. This marker's kind of thick for this. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to redraw that one because I'm not sure what happened, but it does not look at all like what I was trying to draw. Okay, rectangle, wrapper, 
These aren't the prettiest little wrapper things I've ever done, but. And then it's got this wiggly line in it. Like that. Does that look familiar? Okay, do you know what I'm drawing? Does anybody know what this candy is? It's that candy. Taffy, mm -mm. no, it's not taffy. Has a little greedy, a greedy feel, yes, a bit of honey. It's a pitiful bit of honey, but that's what it is. And then y'all know what that is, I'm sure. I'm sure you do. Okay, y'all ready to do some lettering? Let's do some lettering. Let me fix the screen real quick. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to make me smaller. Sorry. Okay. So we have more space to look at, and I'm going to get rid of that. And okay, more space. Yep, it was a bit of honey and a Tootsie Roll. Absolutely correct. Correct. Okay, so now we're going to do some lettering. Um, I want to do, let's do Happy Halloween with the Haunted House. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding right now. Please try a little later. Okay, so we're going to use, this is a brush pen, and then I'm going to use a thicker I might use this and then black. I could always even use a Sharpie or I can use a, a Crayola marker I can use whatever I have handy, but I like the brush pen for happy because when I write, I'm going to do a light up and a heavy down. So it's thicker on the downstroke. If you're new to lettering, this is a technique that I teach in my lettering tribe. If you don't already know it, heavy down and let me make sure I'm on. There we go. Heavy down. Every time we go down, it's thicker. So we have happy, and now we're gonna do Halloween. And with Halloween, um, you can think about, first of all, you can decide, do I want my line straight? This is another trick for making straight lines that I love using. And this is a um, laser level. And mine is, I'm going to just kind of wing it there, make it go down some. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit the word Halloween, kind of fit it in between happy. So like some of the letters will kind of fit in. And then also think about how long Halloween is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine letters and there's five up there. So just kind of, I don't know, you can kind of play with that thinking how to fit it in. You could even do your first letter. That's too light. Let's see, that's a red. We don't want red. Let's check this one out. I want y'all to be able to see it again. H. So it's interesting because I'm changing up the pens. I'm changing up the font style. Halloween. And we could even do, we could end, we could do the end and go ahead and know that we wanted to end it right here. Let's see how this works out. How is it to elves? Halloween. Hello. And see how I'm going to make this smaller and then I'm going to make that bigger because I'm fitting it in there. Just makes it way more interesting. Halloween. Isn't that cute? Okay. Now we're going to do the haunted house. Haunted house could be beside it or below it. I'm just going to go ahead and do it beside it because just because. And I'm actually not going to color it in. I'm just going to do the outline of it, okay? So we're going to do a roof, a kind of quirky roof that has a swirl. Like so. 
and then the house is kind of quirky too, which that side I, I meant to draw like inward. But that's all right. And then we're going to do our door. And I would color that in yellow. And then our windows are going to be awkward, kind of at an angle, one bigger than the other. So it's haunted. Shallow haunted house. If you want to make a sidewalk, you could just do like a little sidewalk. Like that. I hope y'all can see that. Is it too small? Okay, so next question. Nobody better lay a finger on my, we all know that one, don't we? Nobody better lay a finger on my, Let's see if I can zoom in just a wee bit. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the candy. So what we're going to do with candy is we're going to make the outline, but let me just show you tips on this. When you are um, trying to do a, like a bubble around a word, just write the word out and leave a little bit of space. And since this is erasable, I will erase that in a minute, but I'm going to go around it in my black marker first. Butterfinger! Y'all are so smart. I like Butterfingers. I haven't had one in a while. Do y'all already have Halloween candy? Do you do you think you're gonna have trick or treaters? Um, some people have built like a little gadget thing that that you can um, do social distance, and you like. I don't know, they have some kind of pulley system where the, it's a lot of, it's a cute, it's a lot of work that I've seen online where people are doing like a pulley system where the candy goes down to the, to the street or something, or just down the sidewalk, sidewalk a little bit. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Lisa. Welcome, y'all. I'm so glad you're here. And y'all are smart. Butterfinger, it is. Butterfinger. Oh, I love Butterfinger. Okay, so there's candy. I just did the outline. It's not perfect shape. We're just doodling here, having fun, not worrying about details and being perfect because that's when we don't have any more fun, right? Okay, so keep your eye on the, the blue inside there and I'm gonna erase it. I oh, know, your nieces and nephews. Well, I was thinking for me, I was like, I might have a couple of neighbors come, so I need to have some candy, but not enough to buy probably a big bag of candy, but that's okay, you know? I'll just get some I don't like. We do not have any. We live too far out in the country. Yeah. Yeah. I live in the sticks. I haven't had trick-or-treaters in 20 years. So this is what we're going to do here. This is going to be fun. Um, let me finish this. We're going to blend. We're going to do some blending. So we're going to do candy corn. The colors of candy corn. We're going to take a... <laughs> I have so many choices, it's hard to decide. Okay, so we, you know, candy corn is white at the top, yellow, and then orange, as, as far as I can remember anyway. So, white at the top, yellow, and then orange. So, just so I have kind of a line to go by, I'm going to color. I'm not worried about how far down I go. I just don't want to go into the white part. And I'm just using my watercolor brush pens here. I um, am excited about our new tribe members. We have several coming in. And um, what our tribe is, is it's a hand lettering membership group that I open up a few times a year. It's open right now till tomorrow. And we do fun things like this. And we'll I have a guest artist come in. Oh, and tomorrow's Divas and Doodles, so y'all don't miss that either. Now that's pretty light. Let me go back to that darker orange. So see how when I take this off, it, it's just got a, a nice clean white line there. And then I could go ahead and blend this bottom part. And if I wanted to, I could Go ahead and put paper there so I don't have to worry about um, 
if I wanted it to have like a clean line there, but I'm actually not worried about that. I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to blend it together a little bit. A lot of your markers that you have, you can use as watercolors. For example, Tombow, they are water-based, so you can use a paintbrush and blend them, get a little water on them. Let's see, so this one, I'm gonna take that yellow again and see if I can kind of blend them into each other. Can you see that? Is it too hard to see? Anyway, if you have questions about the Lettering Tribe, let me know. Also, I have a, a iPad Lettering Tribe, and I love that too. Some of y'all here are in the iPad Lettering Tribe too. Did y'all end up doing the repeating pattern lesson? I had so much fun doing that. Okay, so see how it kind of blends into each other? Into it? Into it? Does that make sense? Um, I feel like for a second I thought it said candy. Candy. It says candy. And I put, uh, it's all about the candy. And isn't that true? So this would be cute on the card front. It's all about the candy. Isn't that right? Yeah. Another thing that I like to do is go ahead and do some shadowing on here. That is not very dark. And this one might be too dark, but that's okay. We'll just go with it. Give it some dimension. Not better? Not hanging out this year, gonna donate candy money to someone in need. Good, our tribe rocks. It does rock, doesn't it? Because of y'all. Because y'all are amazing. Okay, so we have two different, like you could do card friends, you could do it in a scrapbook, you could do it wherever you wanna do it, right? Now we're gonna do a fun boo. Where the B, we're gonna do those, those letters again. I'm gonna draw them without uh, using the erasable pen. This time, so I've got my B, my O, and this O I'm gonna uh, not put anything on the inside. You know, like a O, like a circle O. I'm not sure if I, I did on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a pumpkin and a spider web, right? Thank you, Leah. And so let's go ahead and swirl a little, a little spider right down here. Don't we wish their webs were that cute? And they have five, five, they have eight little legs. So just do a little L shape, four on each side. So there's that. And then on this one is where I want to do the pumpkin. So I'm going to draw some eyes, a nose, and then uh, a smile with not many teeth. And then let's put a stem on him. Have y'all seen where people are suggesting that you are, you already might already know this, is to carve your pumpkin from the bottom for a few reasons. One, it's supposed to like stay longer because, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure why. <laughs> but then it's an easy place for you to put, like, to put on top of your candle. You know, it's easy to do that. Anyway, uh, I just saw that somewhere today and thought you just needed to know, right? Okay, so what I did here on this guy is I also like to make the, um, I don't know what they're called, ridges, rind, ridges, whatever it's called. So there's that. And then we're going to do a spider web on this one. But let me start by doing a, a big spider web and then we'll kind of make it into fit that. So to do a spider web, I like to just kind of start with an X like that. And then a cross or a T or whatever you want to call it like that. And then from here, we'll just start making curves. 
And you can either do it like this, curve here, curve here, curve here. I do it like this a lot, but then the easier way is just to do like this. Pretty easy, huh? Just like that. Okay, so we're going to take that idea and do it down in here. And so it's inside the O like this. Get this close so you can see it right there. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm just actually going to start drawing. This is going to be my point where I draw the lines from. So that's like kind of the middle of the spider web, I guess you would say. And then again, we'll just do the. Whatever these lines are. Scallops. So I feel like it's missing one right here. So there's that. It looks better once you get color on these. But there it's so fun to do. Turn your letters into pumpkins. Tomorrow, um, tribe members, I am going to show y'all gouache. Do you know what gouache is? Does anybody on here know what gouache is? Spiders and spider webs I find are never that cute. Yeah, really. <laughs> I'm not in love with spider webs myself, and they're not cute, are they? They're just not cute. So we have to make them cute on paper. Anyway, do y'all know what gouache is? Gouache, where I'm going to show y'all gouache. It's new to me. I'm just now starting to play with it, but I love to show y'all new stuff and uh, give you my opinion before you go out and buy something like that. There's that, and then I did a purple color. Do y'all do purple for Halloween? And green, you gotta do green for the, uh, uh, what's it called? Witches, witch. I didn't draw any witches, but they are green, right? So there it is, it's our little boo with a stem. Gouache, it's G, let me show you. G, U, A, C, G U G O U A C H E, and then I'll show y'all the details tomorrow. But this is what it comes like, and it's got I have no idea what that is unless it's a glue. I don't know what that is. it's got paintbrushes, and then all of these little gouache things, which are kind of like watercolor but different. I'm told. So we will play with those tomorrow after Devo's after part one of Devo and Doodles. Okay. I forgot what I was doing. What was I doing? Was I done with this? Oh no, I was going to color in my... This. Anyway, this would be cute on a card too. Be such cute happy mail. You got to get in the mail like tomorrow though. Well, I mean, if you have my mail service, you would need it in tomorrow because I don't know when stuff is arriving and all that stuff but isn't that fun so we have some lettering some doodles what time of what type of pens are you using to paint with these are let me show you the, the package these are watercolor brush pens by crafty croc i actually have a link in the description if you're interested in knowing um if you shop on amazon uh anyway and so this that's what they look like and they come with a, a bunch a bunch of colors a lot a lot of colors and there's just like uh, watercolor inside there. Anything dark chocolate. 
Um, what time do you do the labs in the tribe? What type of pins? I think I oh, could could put a witch hat on the bee. Oh, that would be cute. That would be so cute. I love that idea. Um, oh, I forgot I do have a witch hat on here, but I didn't do it like a green nose or anything. Um, the lives in tribe are actually, they vary because most people watch the replay. And so on Mondays, I always do it. I do Devo and Doodles. If anybody's new and you don't know what Devo and Doodles is every Monday at noon I go live and again we have the replay available and I do some kind of a scripture we do a little devotion then we do a scripture together and then what I do is the basic outline um, on online and, and well, <laughs> on my main page this one create with Christy and then I go into our private group and I do the artwork does that make sense so like last week with the public page I sketched out the angel and then we went to the group and I showed them like how I watercolored that and that kind of stuff. Same here. So it's really fun. I love it. I love it. Love it. So tomorrow we're going to try the gouache. This is the book we're doing though. If anybody, oh, and remember, you don't have to watch stuff live. You can watch the replay, but this is the, the devotional we're doing. So, um, so on Mondays, usually in the group, I go live right after that, which is about 1, 12.45, 1, something like that. Thank you, JJ. Dark chocolate. Me too. And this is, this is what my favorite dark chocolate is. Chili. Do y'all eat that? Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's, it's dark chocolate and it has a hint of chili. Spicy in it. Ah, love that. And I was just somewhere the other day and I had a chai latte and they said, do you want some chili in it? I was like... Yes, I do. <laughs> I never thought that I would ever. I didn't think I'd ever want something like that, but it was so good. Okay, let's draw. Let's keep drawing. Let's do, let's do a sucker. This reminds me of going to the dentist office when I was little, y'all. Do y'all remember this? We had the, we'll do like a, the edges of the sucker wrapper, kind of like that. And then we've got the straight top. Straight bottom, circle in the middle, and then we have this thing. Oh, I should have drawn the little loop. Do y'all remember that where you put your finger in it and you hold? <laughs> anyway, um, so this is the old-fashioned sucker that we always used to have growing up. At least where I grew up. And it was translucent so you could you know, see through it. Salted dark chocolate. Yes. I haven't met many dark chocolates I don't like. And I used to not like it, but I love it now. Love it. Okay, so this was going to say trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. And we'll start with trick or treat. I'm just using this. Um, hang on, let me do something. I'm trying to see if you can see my hand better if I... Okay, so trick or treat, we're going to do trick, all, uppercase, and again, I could be using lined paper or my, this guy, laser level. Lollipop, that's right. Yes, that's what we call it. A lollipop, that's what you call it too, Nick. Trick, or, and I did or here, and... Lines like that, and then treat. Let's make it tall and skinny for treat. T R. And I like to try to line it up with the word above it, so we're doing pretty good on that. Pretty good, pretty even. Trick or treat. English for sucker. Oh, we say sucker, yeah. Yeah, too. Lollipop and sucker. What else do we call it? I don't know, but my parents are called lollipop, lolly, and pop. Anybody else have that too for their grandparent names? Hang on, sorry about this. Oops. Is anybody dizzy yet? <sighs> Love your laser level. I know, me too. Okay, trick or treat, and then smell my feet. I'm just gonna 
kind of wing it and just randomly write. And if I had some feet to draw, I would draw a little foot here. But I got ambitious on drawing everything else, so I decided to give up on the feet. Smell my feet. Give me. something good I need y'all to post pictures of your doodles when you get done Halloween's not very big in the UK well it used to be so big here so if you give me something good to eat but you know what over the years I just keep thinking, when are we going to stop having Halloween in a, in a way of safety? Because it makes me sad. You know, years ago, people would, kids might find something in their candy. And ugh, I can't, I don't understand people. We're going to make this sucker green. Do y'all like those uh, sucker, um, caramel apple suckers? I can't eat a lot of this sweet stuff now, but I just have memories of, I remember that kind of stuff, you know. I liked it at the time. Okay, so this is white. I mean clear. So when something's clear and you have it on a piece of paper, it's it's hard to know what to do with it. So if you do some gray shadowing, then it looks like it's it's something. It's not just clear. So I'm just doing some gray shadowing on there so it looks like something. Right? And the stick, I can make it gray too. And if I wanted to go in and like add some darker green I could do that for dimension man that looks so much better just just a few little things doing here or there makes such a huge difference and if I want to go back with that lighter green there we go might get better and then another fun thing is just to take your pens to add color I just add some watercolor to somewhere around here Hey, is Paisley back? Yeah. Anyway, just add color somewhere here or there. Okay. Thank you, Elizabeth. Look at these, Elizabeth. Aren't they fun? <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do, you are bootyful. Bootyful, bootyful. <laughs> so we're going to do some more lettering, and we're going to take my Pentel and make some fancy, a fancy Y, because that's like one of my favorite letters to do. You... And then R, my dog is over here just uh, scratching in her bed trying to make her little spot. Do you need your blanket? Here. <laughs> she needs her blanket. Okay, and then beautiful, I ended up kind of um, writing it and curving it around. So I think because we, let's, let's go right here. B, and again, I like to fit it. So if I did it straight across here, there'd be this empty space that I'd feel like I'd need to, to fill. So instead of doing that, I'm going to do my T larger. T-I, so boo, T, and then full. My gosh, Apple, please make your space. Okay, and then we're going to draw our, our uh, ghost, which is ghost. It really looks like Pac-Man ghost. You can do this, Gloria, I'm sure. I'm sure yours is cute, too, if you're following along with us. Now, since it's your beautiful, I want it... <laughs> that sounds funny. Um, I want it to be feminine and girly. I want it to be a cute ghost. So I had to consider that when I was drawing it. Um, and so I am going to just go down here and make like a Pac-Man ghost. Come up here, but I don't want to come too far because I have to make a bow for this beautiful ghost. I just wanted to leave room for that, so now I can go ahead and go around. Look at that. 
And then she's got to be, she's got to be pretty. She's got to have some pretty eyelashes, don't you think? Here's her eyelids. Here's her eyes. And then we'll do a white dot in a minute to give her a little reflection there. And then our, we have to have our little eyelashes coming off the side of her eye. Try to make that one bigger so you can see it better. <gasps> Isn't she cute? She's Aunt Booty. <laughs> JJ, are you the one that has a family member getting married on Halloween? Which pen am I using for Bootyful? I'm using my Pentel. Pentel Flexible Brush Pen. Thank you. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding it. This will be perfect for her. <laughs> Sorry if I missed any comments. I'll go back and look after. Okay, so there she is. She's so cute. She, uh, yeah, she had to have her little bow. So we're going to do purple. Oh, we don't have to do purple. Pinks and purples both would be pretty on here. Let's see. Let me go back to this. I feel like I'm missing some purples over there. Okay, she's got eyeshadow on, so we got to give her her little eyeshadow. And then for color, I just colored in the inside of this boo. do her bow. Oh, I know. I went ahead and colored in all the circle. The, the ones that, that are closed in, I went ahead and colored all those in. The letters is what I'm trying to say. Just to give it more color around there. And we always want to put a little highlight in our eyes and a lot of other places. I, I can't live without my white gel pen. Where are you, I, Jill Penn? Hmm, why are you missing? Because I'm not moved back in here completely yet. I'm trying. Let's see. Here they are. Okay, white gel pen. This is a Uniball Signo gel pen. And then I'm going to swirl it around because I want to make sure it's going see how that that's there you can barely see it but and then I'm gonna make dots in her eyes cuz I it just gives it uh, life and personality right <laughs> okay so we've done a lot of this sheet y'all want to do any other one while we're while I'm still here oh I'm still here <laughs> I didn't most everything I didn't do the Fangtastic. I didn't do the witch in the broom. The pumpkin patch diva. I'm going to go ahead and put the picture up here for y'all to look at it and see if there's any other ones y'all want me to do. Real quick. What do you think? Like I said, we did most of them. So glad y'all were here tonight. If you have questions about our tribe, we have so much fun. And I understand if you have questions because it's like, wait, what is this? So I have the link. Go there. Ask questions. You might see somebody on here that you might want to ask questions to. Um, but we'd love to have you. Love the Signo pins, especially the gold and silver. I know. I know. I do too. Here's a silver one. I think I just saw. Yeah, here's a silver one. Oh, y'all can't see my camera. Any more, any, anything else you want me to draw before I go? That's on the paper. I can't just magically throw stuff up there, y'all. I know I think I can, but I'm not that good. So this is the silver. Could do that for the diva. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's metallic. Okay, y'all, I'm going to sign off for tonight.
I don't see any more comments, so I'm going to let y'all play and doodle, and then I will see you. Hopefully, people can come um, and do some doodling, with devos and doodles with me tomorrow. I'm not making a lot of COVID, but I was looking for a way out um, of the wedding. I'm really uncomfortable wearing costumes and celebrating. And they jokingly said, sacrificing God over the door. I'm going to be honest with you about the whole COVID thing. Um, my son went to a wedding last weekend. We were actually uninvited to the wedding because of COVID, which is fine. That's great. You know, it was four hours. We were going to have to drive and everything. Well, anyway, um, I'm going to draw the witch because I just saw someone say, can we draw, can I do the witch or, oh, and the candy fell. Okay. I'll draw those. Sure. Um, anyway, so my son went, everything was fine, but today, this was last weekend. Today he found out that the groom has COVID. So, you know, you just, I don't know, you know, we can't not do anything, but then again, if it's something you don't feel, you feel strongly about not going to, you know, you just don't go. I'm not trying to tell you not to go to your families, but, but it is something to take, you know, not to take. Okay. Okay, let's do the rest of them. Y'all ask, I'm delivering. We'll get rid of that. Okay, now we're going to do the witch's hat. So we're doing a triangle. And it, I like to have a kind of a curved bottom of it, just a slight curve. Okay, and then um, we're going to kind of do like an oval around it. Like that. And she's going to have a band. At first, I'm going to do a buckle, which is just a square inside of a square, and then a band. Like so. And that's how simple it is to draw the witch's hat. Now, one thing that I do. Oh, you can't see me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, I just drew the whole thing and y'all couldn't see me. <laughs> okay, I'll do it again. How funny. I don't know what happened. Okay, but you can see me now. It shows that you can see me now. So, okay, we're going to draw a rectangle. I mean, a <laughs> this is a new new style of rectangle that they just came up with it. It kind of looks like a triangle. And we're just going to curve that bottom down here a little bit. Absolutely, Debbie. Thanks for joining us. Now we're going to do an oval around to make the brim. So imaginary oval, a square for a belt buckle, another one, and the band. If I can get on here and not echo and then make sure you can see me, I got it going on, don't I? <laughs> okay. So, one thing that I've learned about when you're coloring in something that's black, you lose all your lines and everything. So I try to do uh, dark gray. So if you can see here, I don't know if you can see because of the lighting, but I did a dark gray on there. So you could just still see like the outline of it. Show you the drawing. I'm going to go ahead and put on the other side the doodles. Whoopsie. I'm going to do this over here. I don't know if you can even see this, but I'm going to put it over here just in case. And remember, if you're my tribe, you're going to have these. They're already in the group, so you can print them out, do whatever you want with them. Okay, so there's the hats. A nut roll. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we got that. So now let's do somebody asked for the pumpkin container. And what I did is just kind of like a boxy U shape. And then an oval. If you've ever watched me do like a coffee cup, this is how we usually do it. So the oval needs to go inside down below. To join both tribes, it is, I think, 47. It's 29 for one, and then and as an add-on, you get a discount 
and, and it's 18. So if those add up to 47, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And you can drop out of either one at any time that you need to. It's not, it's not that you're stuck, you know. So the, this rest of this is kind of like how we did the pumpkin on the O. And then we do our handle. This totally reminds me of Halloween because that's what everybody had. They had the bucket back then growing up. And then I'll draw the lines. Alexa, stop. I hope I didn't set y'all's off, but I probably did. So there's a little bucket. Oops, that needs a line there too. Then you can color them in. What kind of heat gun to the heat gun was like getting it erase the lines and it is uh, any heat gun works of course but this one's called heat it ranger craft tool and actually I'm not sure if they're available I do have a link to I think I still have the link on there but um, you have to watch the details when you'll order from Amazon because Amazon will change out their, their, like they'll change out like, like for example, someone bought that one, not from my link, but they bought that one and it had the European plug and they did, they need the American plug. So, uh, they were sad and it's frustrating because then you got to figure out, am I going to send it back? What am I going to do with it? So just keep in mind, anytime you order something off Amazon, make sure you know you, you what you're getting because sometimes they change the sizes. So say, um, one time I showed my, uh, I put Christmas ornaments in here for Christmas to sell. This is one of the things that I teach in our tribe. And, and these are great to go in these little baggies. But when you go to buy them, you have to pick what size. And one of my tribe members, she didn't see that. So she got these tiny little baggies. So just always, always read the details. This is that light orange. It's just kind of soft and subtle. But you could have candy coming out of there. Any other questions? Anyway, Halloween here is, to me, it's not like it used to be for before even COVID. Most people go to churches. They feel safer going to churches. So what I could do here is I could do this and then I could take a water pen and blend it out. Let's see if I can find one. That would be helpful. A water pen is just a paintbrush. It's a... <laughs> Hang on. It's one of these that has water in it. I'm just count. I'm just thinking one of these could have water in it. Why can't they have water in it? Here, this one does not. Has a little bit. Anyway, they all need to be refilled, obviously, but still got a little bit in there. But anyway, I could blend it out. I don't know how well I can see, and of course, this is too big for this, but that way it's not black, black, black. But you can still see the outline of it. It's not one big blob of black. <laughs> it's hard to work with this big old thing. I mean, it's perfect for some projects, but not for this. You get the idea, right? Any other questions? I've kept y'all on here for a while now. Oh, if you're thinking about joining the membership group, the, there's like printables and stuff. Not just this printable, but I have a lot of printables in there that you have access to. Um, and there are a lot of classes that you already have access to. So 
but it's fine. It's fine. And the people in there are amazing. What can I say? What can I say? Okay, y'all. So fun. Thank you for hanging out with me. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Devo and Doodles. Um, hang on, i make sure y'all can still see me. <laughs> I hope to see you tomorrow. Devo and Doodles, noon central. And we will do our, uh, I think it's maybe chapter 11. We'll see. We'll see. See you later. Bye. Absolutely my pleasure for sharing.